All right, I'm really excited to show you this awesome simulation. Right here in the middle, we have a, a blue star, and I can create planets that orbit around that star. And I can fling those planets in all sorts of different directions with different speeds, and I can create my own little solar system. And this awesome simulation just uh, simulates gravity, and um, we can see the resulting orbits that are created. Now, there's a few different modes that the simulation runs in. This first mode um, is where you can place a planet and then kind of fling it at any speed you want. But you'll see here in the upper left, I have simulation mode. And if you were to try a different simulation mode like Kepler's second law, you would see that if I click here, it'll just set a planet right in motion with a specific eccentricity that's given right here. So if I change that eccentricity to something pretty extreme, like 0.9, I can send a planet in motion that will have exactly that eccentricity. Woo, goes zipping around. Okay, so there's different modes to work in and that's kind of fun. At any time you can clear space time just by pushing that clear space time button. And you can play with these ones if you'd like to. Make solar system just sets in motion a specific uh, solar system with a few planets, a couple randomly generated asteroids. And I like this, this is like a planet and a moon that's orbiting around that planet. The Create Solar Nebula is kind of interesting, uh, again, just for fun. If you go to Planetary Formation as our mode and say Create a Solar Nebula, you can actually kind of simulate here the formation of a solar system. So I'm going to switch this to zero, and let's see, I might have to refresh it real quick. I'm just going to show it to you, though, so you can see what it looks like. Create Solar Nebula, boom. Right? And it, it randomly generates all kinds of uh, like asteroid-like objects which start to merge with each other and fling one another out of the solar system. And so it's just generally cool and I hope you have fun playing around with it. I also just wanna highlight a couple of the options here. You can turn the grid on and off. You can turn the, the path of the objects on and off. And you can also zoom in and out. Um, although most of the time, I think you'll find that a camera zoom of one is what you want. The last thing I wanna highlight here is a timer. So for part of our lab, we will be um, timing the motion of the planets as they go around the star. And so that's just a simple timer that you can start, stop, and clear. All right, with that, uh, you have everything you need to just kind of play around with it and get started.